What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Aaliyah, back with another video. Sorry for the way I look. I know I look a little crazy. Um, so, y'all, my school got me stressed out, okay? Stressed out, hair falling out, weighed up and down, can't keep anything down. Look at this bag in my eye, y'all. I literally been awake since three o'clock last night. Even, I don't even, I didn't even sleep last night for real. So, last week I had my final exam, right? Last week, the base that I am deployed at, we also had like a 15 or 16 hour exercise. I have never attended a school that opened up the final exam the week after classes were like technically over if that makes sense i don't know how to explain it but like i've never had to take in a final exam on a wednesday or the due date was that wednesday i took the exam on tuesday so i was like what okay you know what i mean so i went along with it and i assumed that i was you know i was decent enough you know, I had enough energy to take the exam. I didn't want to wait to the last minute um, to do the exam because I really didn't know if my um, if we were done with our exercise or if we we had more training to do. So I didn't want to wait to the last day to do it. Um, Cause like my school is on the East Coast, William and Mary is on the East Coast, and I am obviously in the Middle East. So I'm at least a a day or a day and a, uh, a half a day ahead of my school so it would be better if I just go ahead and take the exam ahead of time so that I don't if I run into any issues then you know I can get those resolved pretty quickly so I took the exam and now grades are due tomorrow so August it's it's August 30th today grades are due on August 31st and my professor emailed me on August 29th at what was it? It was like 6 a.m. here. So I think it was like 11, maybe 11 on the East Coast. He emailed me and was like, hey, like we need to set up a Zoom call to discuss some concerns about um, about uh, some of the, the questions on the exam or whatever. And I'm like, what the hell? Like, you know what I mean? I'm like, bro, you don't got too long before you need to submit them grades. You feel me? And that's literally the only grade I got left. So I'm like, bro, like, and I got like an 86 in the, the course right now. So I'm like, all right, well, you know, uh, here's my availability or whatever. And um, may I ask like, what is the reason that um, you what like, what concerns may have came up during the exam or from your review of the exam? And he was like, question 11. So I'm like, question 11. So I went back through my Word document. I always like keep a copy of my, um, my exams, my work, my prompts, um, any essays that I write, I always keep like a copy of them until the course is complete because I don't have time for them to be saying that I didn't submit something, okay? So, and I think the military has instilled that in me. So, I go through and when I was looking at my prompts, right, I had the links of each article because we weren't allowed to use anything outside of the course, which I knew so, and I didn't use anything outside the course. Um, but I had the articles that we were assigned um, in the weeks of the, the seven and a half weeks of the course. Right. And I had the links on the Word document, but I didn't go back to properly cite them to use them as references to uh, pretty much support my paper or my prompts. So I'm like, I'm already knowing what he's gonna say. He's gonna pretty much say that I'm trying to plagiarize um, my, my stuff. And uh, that's not the case. <laughs> so I was like, let me go ahead and like explain to him, like, you know, I did, I do apologize for, you know, any inconvenience that this may have, you know what I mean, on the grading process. I did not mean to not insert those citations because literally I was dog tired but I didn't think that I was so tired that 
I was gonna forget to put my citations on there. So I sent him the Word document along with the links that was um, I had put under there with the proper references or citations. And I was like, if a Zoom call is still necessary, then, you know, whatever, you know, we can do that. And he was like, yeah, Zoom call is still necessary. So I'm like, no, <laughs> like, why? I literally just explained to you what was going on. So um, there are some things going on, you know, where I am, but like, I can't say too much because like, you know, obviously I'm in the military, I can't say whatever I want to about like certain uh, circumstances and stuff. So I'm trying to explain to him like, dog, like I really, I don't think that Zoom is the best idea. Um, it may, I may not be able to get on Zoom, you know what I mean? And it's not that I was opposed to getting on the call at all. Cause I, I definitely wasn't, um, it's not that I was like opposed to talking to the professor and the math professor about the exam. I just didn't think that Zoom was the best option, the most feasible option. So, um, at this point they are pretty much brushing me off the math professor she i hadn't emailed her but that was only because the course instructor had made it seem like he was already he had already pretty much gave his perspective to her and to me the master instructor and the course instructor they are they in cahoots together anyway so it's them against me so me messaging her and explaining to her the situation isn't going to help me you know what i mean so what I did was I contacted my student um, success coordinator and she basically told me that she was gonna go ahead and uh, send it up to her higher ups to see what we could uh, do about this situation. But as of right now, I'm supposed to be going to a Zoom, getting on a Zoom call, a Zoom phone call with them at um, what, 13.30, um, their uh, East Coast time. So as of right now, William & Mary has a really, really bad taste in my mouth um, because they don't have any regard as to the handling of active duty members, especially in the circumstances that we're in right now. Uh, so, and it's supposed to be a yellow ribbon school. That was one of the biggest reasons why I even applied to William & Mary. But as of right now, I do not think that I will continue to attend William & Mary. I think I probably will be transferring um, probably to like Howard or you know, HBCU where I do feel like I may be able to um, have more of a rapport with the instructors and feel like I'm at least being heard. Even when I turned in, so we have to do a wicked problem for our um, for our courses and or for our program. And my wicked problem is improving financial literacy in the African American community. And when I turned in my wicked problem, my wicked problem for this course, the professor was like, yeah, um, it sounds like you were talking about the course instructor. He was like, it sounds like you're talking about financial literacy um, and knowledge, which I don't think that you meant. I'm like, what do you mean you don't think that I meant? That's exactly what my wicked problem is about. So at this point, I'm starting to just get like a funny feeling about continuing to attend this university um, or this college. And uh, after I finish, so I'm, I just started a course um, in operations um through william and mary actually yesterday and i do think after i finish that course i probably will be transferring to another school so i'm going to start my applications um i know howard is one of them throughout the day i'm going to be researching more schools just to see you know what i like but more than likely it will only be hbcus because i just i i, I feel like the whole experience is so much different um because I've only ever attended, you know, other schools. So I need something a little different in my life um, where they're a little bit more understanding of the circumstances and more willing to listen um, to my input. So I'm going to keep y'all updated. We're going to see tomorrow if they, or we're going to see later on today if they gang up on me. If they do, I mean, obviously I'm going to come back on this, uh, this vlog and update y'all on everything so that you guys can be aware of the circumstances that i'm going through right now so i will hit y'all up in a little while yo what's up you guys i hope you guys can hear me now i'm on my lunch um i'm in this old like canadian pharmacy that they used to have here um i have literally no appetite at all so i'm 
just gonna sit here and study my real estate stuff um, so that I can prepare for my exam, um, for my real estate final exam uh, later on this month or in the middle of September. So, um, we're just waiting. Uh, probably It's probably gonna be around eight o'clock um, my time when I talk to the professors on the phone. They literally have ruined my home day, honestly. I really feel like they're kind of blowing this whole situation out of proportion. But I still don't know what they're going to say, so I'm trying to stay optimistic about the situation. But as of right now, um, I've already started my application with uh, Howard. Um, all I got to do is write my uh, personal essay. They only require one, and then I have to do a um my resume i have a resume already but it's on my old computer back at my home station so i'm just gonna go ahead and write a new one and then uh i need to go ahead and reach out to um two individuals uh to write a recommendation for me but i already know who i'm gonna ask they wrote recommendations for me in the past so i'm hoping that they are they still have them and then they can just go ahead and submit those for me um, so that they don't have to write anyone because it wasn't too long ago since they uh, submitted it for William and Mary. So we're gonna see what happens as of right now. My lunch is gonna be this little orange and this thing material. So y'all, they really got me like, they really got me stressed out for real. Cause like, I don't, I, I don't think I don't think I did anything wrong, at least not intentionally, but I don't think that they're taking into account like the intimidation factor that they both have over me as a student. Um, I really wish that there was some way that I could have like a, a fourth party there that could be like a neutral um, person because I feel like them together is gonna be kind of difficult for me to um, to maintain the conversation effectively so we're gonna see what happens but I hope the zoom call really doesn't last that long so it's 12 31 right now and I'll probably go ahead and update you guys um, around 7 or something before I get on the zoom call with them what's up y'all so it is the next day after um the zoom meeting with the professors and myself at william and mary so they they were not like bad to talk to um but they did like continue to like ask me the same questions like over and over again i'm sorry i'm trying to keep my phone from sliding down um they kept asking me the same questions over and over again and at the end of the day, because I didn't add in those citations or the references, I did essentially like plagiarize. So I admitted to it. Um, the It needs to go up to like a board now. And the board is going to decide on my grade. So, you know what I mean? The professors, they ended up, obviously they gave me like a zero on the, uh, on the, that one question of the exam. But those one questions held like a lot of weight. So like if you, you know, pretty much got a zero on one of them, then you weren't gonna pass the exam. But my grade was decent enough in the class that I still got a C. Now in a graduate program, it's not good. A C is not good, but if you maintain over, what is it, a two point, which I have never in my life had a two point something. But if you maintain over, I'm sorry guys, like this is ridiculous. The phone is just sliding. If you remain uh, over a 2.75, I think, then you can graduate. This is only, dog. <laughs> This is only my second class with Wade and Mary, but my decision still remains. I'm still gonna go ahead and um, 
I am gonna leave the school. Uh, I've already started applying to uh, Howard. I'm about like 80 something percent with my, um, percent done with my application to for them. Um, and the admissions counselor has already reached out to me and I've explained to her what the situation is. And not, I haven't, I told her pretty much that, you know, where I'm, I'm attending another school currently, um, but I do plan on transferring um, in the spring uh, semester or whatever. Um, so for those of you that are like using um, your GI Bill or something for your your master, I mean for your yeah, for your graduate uh, program or whatever, um, know this. Okay, I didn't know this, but. I'm telling y'all, so y'all don't have to go if I, if I know, excuse me, I'm sorry. I just woke up, you guys. I'm trying to update you because I was so tired last night after being stressed. I didn't eat or anything last night or yesterday. So, you know, I'm kind of all over the place. But know this, all right? Uh, I can't tuck in my shirt yet. I gotta do some stuff. Um, when you are in your graduate program, even if you're in for your you're getting your bachelor's okay if you end up failing a course correct which i technically i didn't fail i got a c okay but still if you end up failing a course the va will still pay or the gi bill will still pay or your post 11 they will still pay for that course okay because it is it's a requirement for you to graduate so you didn't go into the class with the intentions to fail. So that means that just because you failed, that doesn't mean that you're not entitled to those benefits and they will pay for you to take it a second time. So just keep that in mind. Now, if it, ha if it um, goes up to a board like mine is and it's an incomplete, then the school pretty much has a year before the incomplete needs to be figured out or whatever. If they say, for instance, something goes on with school and the year comes up and they still haven't completed your board, which is kind of ridiculous because it shouldn't take that long. Um, maybe a semester, if that. Um, but if it goes that way, um, you you may end up having to pay back the money that the, the, they paid for you. Now, in my case, it's a little different because I completed the course. It just has to go through a board to like finalize my um, the grade that I have to see. But um, if you just didn't complete the course because like you just didn't show up to class or something, that's a little different, okay? Like you gotta complete like the coursework and stuff. So, you know, yeah. Just make sure that you guys know like different things like that. I'm actually gonna be taught, I emailed my student success coordinator last night um, and I'm gonna get her to direct me to um, like, pretty much the person that I need to talk to, the military um, representative at William & Mary. I did have their contact, but I don't know what ended up happening to it. Um, now, keep in mind, like not not all situations are gonna be like this. Like if you wanna go to William & Mary, don't not apply because you hear the situation that I'm going through. Because at the end of the day, if I would have put in my references and my citations, I would be okay. But, the I think the handling that they decided of me, they were very, very secretive about the whole situation and they didn't like really, it, they didn't make me feel like they cared at all about my individual experience, kind of. It kind of made me feel like another number. So that's the reason why I am deciding to go to a different school. Um, at Howard, they what they say is that the class sizes are like usually like 20 students per 20 like 20 students a class so i may be able to feel like a little bit more individual that's one um thing that i didn't like about 
VCU was that the lecture halls were extremely big. Um, and I'm not saying that they, I don't never want to have like a really big lecture hall, but I need my professors to understand the circumstances that I'm in, especially in times like this. Um, now, granted, I don't plan on, I'm not going to be in the military too much longer, probably like just probably until January of 2024, but I need them to be a little bit more understanding. And I didn't feel like William and Mary did that at all. They didn't do me, they didn't do me right this time. So I think another school probably would be better to, uh, to try out. Mm. Y'all, my bun. My bun was looking so good yesterday. I should have just kept it. Y'all, I literally have not been sleeping. Because <laughs> uh, of this whole mess, you guys. I haven't been sleeping, haven't been eating or anything. I've never been in any, any situation like this a day in my life. <laughs> so, this whole thing kind of just has me like, what? In that kind of, that, that mode, like, what is going on? Like, you don't even feel like it's real. Because I've never been in any trouble or anything. And I technically don't, I don't feel like I'm in trouble still. Um, apparently, my professors told me that in our meeting yesterday that there are a lot of students that are going to be sent up to the board due to reference references. Some people are going to be sent up um, because they cheated on the exam. They were using like Chegg and stuff. Um, so, I don't know. I'm going to just, you know, take it in strides. I'm actually looking at it like kind of like a blessing because for real for real y'all i think i had i did spread myself a little thin you know what i mean um after i finished my bachelor's and i graduated from um saint leo university it's in tampa florida i think i probably said that earlier in the video but when i graduated from there um i really didn't i really didn't feel accomplished like i didn't feel like i felt proud of myself for like maybe like two seconds but after after that i really wasn't you know like oh you know what i mean i wasn't it wasn't i didn't feel like i was finished so i knew i wanted to get my real estate license and i knew um and i knew i wanted to get my master's degree and it's just like to prove something to myself prove myself that i can do it as a testament to myself like you know what i mean it's something that i told myself that i was going to do so I didn't want to pretty much lie to myself. Uh, let's see about this though. Okay. Y'all give me two seconds. I'm going to hit y'all right back up. So yeah, like I was saying, um, I'm kind of looking at it as like a blessing because I had spread myself a little thin um, with trying to do my master's and trying to do my real estate license at the same time. Um, I'm kind of like the type that always feels like I'm running out of time. So... You know, I, I kind of, I burned on myself and I changed my mind throughout the day uh, yesterday after, um, while I was waiting to talk to the professors, I was like, I should probably just go ahead and not even attend anymore because say for instance, right, say for instance, I go and take this next class, right? And it's like a similar professor or a professor that knows the professors that I just dealt with, right? And they look at me the exact same way that the professors that I just finished look at me. I don't want that to be an issue. So I feel like the main people that you should be comfortable with while you're attending a school and paying ten thousand dollars or five thousand dollars a class i think you should feel comfortable talking to your professors right so and the fact that i don't feel comfortable at the school anymore it goes without saying that it's time to leave now i'm claiming I'm, claiming, uh, I'm definitely claiming Howard. I'm claiming that I'm gonna get in. 
Um, simple as that, you know what I mean? I'm not applying to any of the school, but one caveat to me applying to Howard is that the courses doesn't start until January of 2023. So that's gonna push me back about, probably about five months from graduation. So might as well say back, back a year, uh, not even a year, back um, like a couple classes, which is fine or whatever. I mean, I wasn't recognizing that, but like I said, I feel like it's kind of like a blessing in disguise. Um, if, if I would have continued to take the classes at William and Mary, then that wouldn't give me time this month, well, September, to study for my real estate license. And my real estate license, pre-licensing is in September. Um, so that's a blessing that I get time to work on that. And then in October, I'm gonna be taking my national and my state exam. So that's another blessing because I have time to study for that. So I'm trying to take the pos the something that might seem negative and turn it into a positive. So, I'm pretty much good to go. Just need to grab my cover. And we'll walk and talk um, as I go uh, to work. Um, I'm gonna try to head this video out um, maybe tomorrow. So currently it is Tuesday, Tuesday, August the 31st. Um, so I'm going to have this out by September 1. Uh, yeah, guys, so the experience, I was so excited. <laughs> I was so like, cause you know how like sometimes like you just doubt yourself. You don't know if you're going to do something and then you end up like doing it. When I got into William & Mary, I was like, dang, like I really got into that school. And you know, like I really put my best foot forward, like to get accepted. And then when I got there, like, I was like, this is not at all what I thought it was gonna be like. So when I, uh, when I get accepted into Howard, I do wanna be more involved um, with it and, you know, get to know my professors, get to know my peers. Um, you know what I mean? And then I got this look, this huge book. I'm probably gonna just donate to like the library here or sell it back to, um, <laughs> sell it back to um, like a book buying company. <laughs> so yeah, guys, like it's just, I don't know. It's always something, but at the end of the day, I guess we just gotta remain firm and just keep pushing, you feel me? So today, while I'm at work, I am going to I'm going to I'm going to if I have time I'm going to write my personal essay. I already have one that's kind of already done. Um that explains me pretty well. I'm probably just going to make like the necessary changes to it and make sure that I um you know uh I'm just going to use it for like reference or whatever. I don't think that you can get in trouble for a fucking personal essay. But <laughs> you know what I mean? Like I'm so paranoid now like you really never know. Um I don't know yeah this whole this whole this whole thing has really given me like the utmost anxiety and i have <laughs> i'm literally deployed like i don't not have time for that type of mental strain i really don't and the fact that i don't think that i would feel like this if they if they showed that they cared a little bit or like acknowledged it you know what i mean the only person at william mary that acknowledged where I was at and how I was feeling was the student success coordinator. And if she ever watches this, 
I really appreciate you because those professors really had me feeling like I was the scum of the earth, okay? All right, guys, let's go ahead and go to work. like dusting the street off so we're gonna go ahead and head to work now um i'm running I'm running about one minute late or two minutes late um, but i think i still can make it on time before i have to send a text Who's that? that was a little bird <laughs> The birds really just be chilling in the shade over here where I'm deployed at. <laughs> so later on today, um, I'm pretty much just going to finish up the vlog. Uh, we're going to, I don't know what I got going on today, actually. So I'll just update you guys periodically. Um, I'll probably just treat it like a regular vlog and, you know, make it seem like or not make it seem like but um just continue out the day um so y'all can go through like another day in the life with me because the last vlog that i had from a couple days ago i see you guys really like that so i'll probably post more of them um but i see that uh that you guys you know appreciated it so i know the last one I didn't get to post me actually going to work so I'm not gonna show you guys the building that I work in or anything um, I may ask my supervisor if she wants to say hi to the vlog or whatever I don't know we're gonna see um, I'm not gonna ask too many people because you know I don't want to buy you being be in the business and stuff so yeah so y'all might get to see a little bit more today um like i said i just have to be careful about what i show so just keep that in mind so yeah i'm um, probably about three minutes not even probably like two minutes from my job and i'm probably about i probably got about like two minutes to get there <laughs> so so oh I forgot to update you guys on the staff starting releases too. So I looked at the releases for September and they're only they're only promoting 600, 600 and something people for September. Now, if they're promoting 600 and something people, that gives me roughly about about six to seven months before I can even put the stripe on, I think. So it'll probably be like March or early, early uh, or late February. But what I'm gonna try to do is get a waiver for it because I may not be able to attend uh, ALS because I haven't been to ALS yet. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Kind of walks up ahead. But yeah, that's another update for you guys. I'll let you guys know if I finish my application for Howard. Oh, and I gotta make me another resume. So I had a resume. I had a resume already made, but I ended up leaving it on my old computer at work so now i have to make a new one so i'll try to do that today too that shouldn't be too hard so yeah i hope you guys have a good rest of your day i'm gonna come back on here later and talk to you what's up y'all so sorry um it's dark as hell out here and don't mind me i got a jolly ring in my mouth so 
I just got off work. Um, it's gonna be off. Okay, guys, my bad. There was people um, walking near me. And remember, I don't like to let people know that I'm recording and stuff. Cause I just don't have time for that one person to say something. So I'm heading back to my room now. Um, yeah, it's like yesterday really drained me, but now I'm gonna try to keep myself up uh, so that I can study. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my room and change. Then I'm gonna go over to the drive zone and meet my shirt there. She's trying to like study like Spanish and stuff. And I'm obviously still studying for my real estate license. So me and her both are gonna be studying in there, chilling. Uh, and then when I leave there, I'll probably go ahead and finish up the vlog. Today wasn't bad though. I ended up getting seen. Um, for like mental health today. But I feel better after I talked to um, the, I think she's a therapist or a psychiatrist, one of the two. Okay, there's some people here, so I'm gonna cut this off real quick. So like I was saying, I did feel better after I talked to her. Um, so basically what my homework is, she gave me is to basically take one hour out of a span of seven days so like not like a whole like not an hour each day but literally just one hour out of seven days and just don't do anything so my problem is that i feel like i always have to be like in control of like my time and stuff and obviously that's hard to do um when you're trying to plan your life out to like the smallest t so she said we're gonna try to like reverse that behavior so yeah i did feel better after i talked to her so i'll be updating you guys on that too as um things go progress try and hurry up because i probably want to go to bed before i probably want to be in the bed before like 11 30. um I'll go to the drop zone and then um, when I get done studying, I'll come back, get in the bed. Um, so I'll probably leave the drop zone at like 11, take a shower, get in the bed, probably back up by 11.30, 11.45 or 11.45. And then I'll be able to go to sleep to be prepared for tomorrow. So I really appreciate you guys listening to me and stuff. For real. Um... Because these last couple of days have really been stressful for me. And I know the last vlog was like super long. So I don't... And it took me like all day to upload it because it wouldn't... Like first of all, it wouldn't save on my, my computer. And then um, when I tried to... When I tried to post it, it kept saying that I had a copyright strike. So it was just irritating. Okay guys, so I am finally done studying. So I'm about to head back over to my room. Uh, I studied from 7.30 or roughly 7.30 all the way until, um, all the way until I think it's probably 11 now. So I did pretty good tonight. So seven, eight, nine, ten. So four hours. So if y'all watch the last vlog, then you know that like I try to study for roughly three to four hours, if not more. So we're gonna do the same thing tomorrow. So today was today was pretty productive. 
Um, now I'm gonna go to my room, take a shower, and then uh, just lay on down, try to relax a little bit. I may look over a little bit of my note cards or you know, look at some um, practice questions. Not gonna do anything too, too crazy or too much. What is that noise? Ooh, I hear something. Hold on. here right oh okay he running he running running okay do your thing then there you go shoot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do, your, do your thing do your thing see oh he's sweating real bad too see mm -mm. some people i just feel like they they, they just are so amazing because it legit y'all it'd be like a hundred and some degrees out here right like it'd be like sometimes it's like 120 degrees it feel good right now but people legit will be running in 120 degree weather like i barely want to run when it's 80 degrees outside in the states so i know i'm not going to come over to a deployed environment and be running in 120 degree no absolutely not but yeah um i was saying something so there's like animals and stuff around oh my god what is that oh bro i just saw i know i just saw okay oh my god it's sticking his little head out damn i forgot to turn it fuck Oh, I really be tripping. Like I couldn't turn the damn camera around. <laughs> but I literally just saw like a little mouse. I don't know if it was a mouse or a rat or what what it was. But I think they got like they call them like kangaroo kangaroo rats or kangaroo mice or whatever they call. It. But I literally just saw one sticking its little head out of a hole. Usually, like they don't be like just peeking and stuff. So now I'm looking. See, look now i see i'm seeing lizards and stuff it's time it's time to go into bed it's time to go to bed because i don't usually be out here this late you know what i mean but that was that was an event for the day you know what i mean <laughs> so yeah you guys um i know i started this vlog out like saying why i'm gonna be leaving william and mary and it's crazy because i've gotten the most emails i have ever received from william and mary today and i'm like uh-uh don't even don't don't even you feel me so yeah uh i actually updated on the application with howard i finished my resume my resume is looking busting okay and i reached out to the two people that are writing my recommendations um they are uh i guess they're going to start their portion um well they should have received the link once i put their information in today so that's a plus that's a win for today also um me finishing up my resume was a win we will i probably will finish my um or do my personal essay uh sometime this week i don't know uh, i'm gonna try not to be so like manic about my uh my schedule i just know that i need to get it done um, I'm probably gonna take that time that one hour time uh, on like Saturday or something where I know like I literally don't have to do anything so what is that okay anyway well guys I know you can't really see me too well but I hope you guys have an amazing night thank you guys for watching make sure you guys go ahead and like comment and subscribe leave me a whole bunch of comments i love talking to you guys getting to know you guys building a relationship with you guys you guys are amazing so thank you again for listening and i'm gonna catch you guys in the next video